This here is from Megan's Mall on X. And as you can see, Harry and Megan Hollywood Losers is trending. And so is some info about Harry. Well, you see it. Happy 40th. The choice of photo is tragic, aging in banana years, whatever that means. Happy birthday, Prince Harry. The Duke of Sussex is turning 40 today. So let's see what we got here. Nothing super complex. Good morning, Nacho. Best birthday ever. I'll give that a heart. I think I've heard that before, but for whatever reason, it's kind of funny. I kind of understand the comparison. I was thinking that the royal family picked this photo because it was the last time Prince Harry was still genuinely happy in 2018. I don't think I've ever seen Harry with a big smile since. And here's the one they pick, and I gotta be honest, I haven't seen him that happy either, I don't think. That was about seven years ago now. Looks like he had a little more hair, it was a little more fluffy and full. I'll give that a heart. And well, here's where we come to a slight little bump in the road. It appears that this critic of Megan, who I agree with pretty much all the time, is also on Dan's side with it. So it kind of leaves a little bit of a rift here in the general fandom who doesn't like Megan and Harry so much and supports Johnny because some of these people who are critics of Megan and Harry are kind of on Dan's side with it because Dan is pretty much against them and grifting off them, you could say. So Dan says, Whoa, the Hollywood Reporter has 12 sources who would work for the Sussexes for their bombshell article revealing staff are terrified of Meghan Markle and refer to her as the dictator in high heels, which I covered. But obviously looks like Dan is pretty happy to cover that one too. I'll skip Dan's heart though. The royal family wished Prince Harry a happy 40th birthday, which has led me to wonder who has Prince Harry wished a happy birthday in his family since he married Meghan Markle? Oh, nobody. I thought so. Well, I guess this person means not publicly. I mean, we don't know if there was phone calls, emails, packages, things like that sent in private. I'm going to guess there must have been some kind of happy birthday wishing going on. But in public, I'm going to trust Megan's mole here, who is an adamant follower of the news, would know. So, not so cool, Harry. And she posts this one again. Royal family using a photo of Harry without Megan and when he had more hair, which got 200,000 views just about. Not bad. Happy birthday, Harry, from one of his sports buddies, I guess. Polo, looks like to me. Looks like there's a cross between Megan Markle and somebody we know. Let's just keep going. All right, looks like we're back down to these bullying claims that happened about a day ago or so. And Robert Bird here says, it's telling, isn't it? The royal family continues to extend olive branches, but Prince Harry seems to remain distant since marrying Meghan. His public birthday wishes to family members have been notably absent, making the divide even more obvious. You get a heart, and there you go. I keep hearing this over and over. He's not wished anyone happy birthday, at least not in public. So I'll take that as it comes and assume it's true until proven otherwise. So just one more little thing to criticize. Keep this child away from this strange man. Looks like he's kind of looking over there at some kid or something. It's blurry and everything, but who knows the context. But all right, I'll keep my kids away, yes. I don't care much about H&M's lack of basic decency and wishing family a happy birthday, but what truly bothered me was that half-baked, cold-hearted, condescending statement they released when C announced her battle with cancer. Well, yeah, that too, obviously. Heart for you. Anyway, as you can see, they go down and down. This one's um pretty interesting, pretty self-explanatory. I'll give it its second heart. And that's about it. Looks like Harry's turning 40 and moving into his next phase of his lovely, beautiful, grifter-like life. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subbed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.